Hello everyone. Welcome back to module three, water accounting using VAPO. We have seen the water accounting in general and its importance for integrated water resources management in the previous video. In this short video, we will talk about rapid water accounting. After this short video, you will be able to describe Rapid Water Accounting Plus and the steps to develop Rapid Water Accounting Plus for a river basin. Water Accounting Plus is a water accounting methodology which uses mainly remotely sensed data and other open access information. Water Accounting Plus results are reported in overview sheets, maps, and tables. Water Accounting Plus is a water accounting system developed by IHG Delft and its partners FAO and IMI. Water Accounting Plus aims to report on the availability and use of water at river basin level. It is essentially based on open access satellite measurements, allowing computing of water consumption, flows, flexes, and storage by land and water use classes. The approach makes a distinction between beneficial versus non-beneficial and consumptive versus non-consumptive uses of water. Water Accounting Plus provides a summary of the water resources situation at a river basin scale including exploitable water, managed versus unmanageable flows, reserved flows, available water, and many more. Water Accounting Plus distinguishes between landscape evapotranspiration and incremental evapotranspiration. The landscape evapotranspiration is the evapotranspiration from rainfall and the incremental evapotranspiration is that part of the evapotranspiration which is coming from natural and man-made withdrawals by natural vegetation such as forest substracting water from groundwater and water supplied as a form of irrigation. Water Accounting Plus also distinguishes the evapotranspiration per land use classes with different management strategies. It also tracks surface water and groundwater flexes and water supply and return flows. Water Accounting Plus provides all this information about a river basin using six different output sheets and accompanying tables and maps. This sheet includes the resource-based sheet, evapotranspiration sheet, Agricultural Services Sheet, Utilize the Flow Sheet, Surface Water Sheet, and Groundwater Sheet. The Resource Pay Sheet is the main output sheet of Water Accounting Plus. Its purpose is to provide a general overview at river business scale on the inflows and outflows, manageable versus unmanageable flows, utilized and utilizable flows and reserved flows. The resource base sheet also evaluates different sources of water that contributes to the net inflow to the river basin. It distinguishes between landscape and incremental evapotranspiration. It assesses commitments to environment in relation to outflow in the form of environmental uh, flow. It also assesses the role of water storage on water availability. The evapotranspire sheet quantifies water consumption for all land use classes in the basin. It describes the man-made impact on evapotranspiration and helps us to understand impact of land use planning on consumptive use and exploitable water resources. 
it separates between beneficial and non-beneficial water consumption. It breaks down beneficial consumptive use in different sectors such as agriculture, ecological, economy, energy, and etc. The agricultural services sheet assesses agricultural production and computes water productivity and productivity gap. This sheet provides us with information to help us to decide on future rainfed and irrigated cropping systems and to indicate possibilities for saving water in agriculture with an emphasis on non-beneficial water consumption. The fourth output sheet is the utilized flow sheet, which provides an overview of all man-made withdrawals and estimates of natural withdrawals due to seasonal floods and groundwater dependent ecosystems such as forests. It describes surface water and groundwater contribution to total withdrawals and it distinguishes between consumed and non-consumed water and also recognizes recoverable and non-recoverable flows. The surface water sheet provides an overview of surface water in the basin. It quantifies river flows in different river areas within the basin and determine the surface water availability and utilizable withdrawals. It estimates surface water storage and reports if mainly environmental flow requirements are met. The groundwater sheet assesses the role of groundwater in renewable water resources and map groundwater withdrawals for irrigation. It also assesses aquifers as a storage reservoir for drought and their role as a buffering mechanism. Even though water accounting plus is based on open access satellite measurements and open access data, to do the complete water accounting plus analysis and to produce all the six sheets, detailed data on various inputs are needed. All of the data needed to do a complete water accounting plus may not be available for a river basin. We may also have a situation where our interest is to rapidly assess the water resource situation. Assessing what are the inflows and outflows and quantifying the rainfall, evapotranspiration, storage, outflow, net withdrawals without going into details. In this case, we are interested only to produce the resource based sheet, which contains summary of the water resource situation. This kind of water accounting where we are interested in assessing water resource situation of a river basin by producing only the resource base sheet and accompanying tables and the maps is what we call rapid water accounting. We need to follow several steps to do rapid water accounting plus. The first step involves a reviewing of the water resource situation of the river basin you wanted to carry out a rapid water accounting plus from literature and local information. Then collect the required data. We will discuss the data need for water accounting plus in unit two. After collecting the required data, the next step is to do data checks. As water accounting plus use mainly open access satellite data, the data to be used need to be checked against direct observations on the ground. In Unit 3, we will discuss how we can compare satellite estimates with in situ measurements. The next step is to split the evapotranspiration to its rainfall and incremental components. In Unit 4, we will discuss how we can split evapotranspiration to its components. After splitting evapotranspiration, the next step is to compute rainfall 
and incremental evapotranspiration per land use categories. Water Accounting Plus classifies land use into four categories. These categories will be discussed in Unit 2. At this stage, we will have all the data we need to compute annual resource space sheet. Therefore, the next step is to produce the sheets. The remaining steps are to compute key indicators of the water resource situation and draw conclusions from the results of the Rapid Water Accounting Plus analysis. The resource base sheet and key indicators will be discussed in detail in Unit 5. This is all about a brief introduction to Rapid Water Accounting Plus. If you have questions, please post them in the discussion forum and discuss them among your peers. I hope to see you in the next unit. Thank you.